John of Fecamp, was an Italian Norman Benedictine who was the most widely read of early medieval spiritual writers before the imitation of Christ became popular, during a period called the Golden Age of Monasticism and of Scholasticism, and the height of the papacy. Writing under the name of famous writers, he wrote the very popular book Meditations of Saint Augustine and the book Meditations. He was born near Ravenna and died at Fecamp, Normandy, as the abbot of the Abbey of Fecamp. He was nicknamed Genalin, or Little John, on account of his diminutive stature. Life At some point in the early 11th century, John left his homeland and travelled to France, probably at the invitation of his compatriot and uncle William of Olpiano. John joined William at the Abbey of St. Benign, in Dijon, where William was abbot. In the following years this served as a basis for their wide-ranging renovation of monastic life in central and northern France. When in 1017 William was commissioned to reform the Abbey of Fecamp and to establish there a colony of Benedictine monks by becoming abbot there, Joan again accompanied him. John assumed the office of prior at the Abbey, a post he held until 1028, went on his retirement to Italy. William appointed John his successor as abbot. As abbot of Fecamp for the next 50 years, John embodied much of the best of traditional Benedictine monasticism. A tireless administrator and disciplinarian, he solidified Fecamp's land holdings took charge of St. Benign along with his own abbey when Benign experienced a leadership crisis and reformed two other monasteries. He expanded Fee Camp's school and library such that in the 1070s, the library possessed 87 manuscripts, virtually all acquired during his abbacy. In 1052, on the elevation of Helenard to the archiepiscopal see of Lyon, John was invited to succeed him as abbot of Dijon. At first he retained also the abbacy of Fecamp, but, finding himself unable to carry the double burden, he resigned this office in 1056. Towards the close of his life he undertook a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Seized and thrown into prison by the Turks, it was only in 1076 that he could return to France. He then retired to Fecamp, where he died in 1079. Works As Abbot of Saint Benign John had been brought into close relations with the Emperor Henry III and with his spouse, Agnes of Poitiers. After Henry's death his widow placed herself under the spiritual guidance of the abbot, and for her John composed a series of ascetical works. These were entitled the Liber Precame Variarum, De Divina Contemplatia Christi Camor, De Supina Hierusalem, De Institutiona Vigue, De Vita Amoribus Virginum, De Elamo Sanarum Dispensationa. Some letters dealing with incidents in the life of the cloisters are also collected in P.L. Locke. CIT, 153 square, notably his, Letter to a Nun. John wrote a first book of prayers, his Confessia Theologica, in three parts, composed before 1018. This book was then rearranged and reworked to form a second book, Libelusta Scriptura Se Verbis Patrum. This second work, circulating under the title of the Meditations of St. Augustine, proved very popular in the later medieval period. He also wrote a lament over lost leisure and solitude. John also wrote Meditationis, excerpts of which circulated widely in the later Middle Ages, under the names of more famous writers. The fact that John's work almost entirely circulated under pseudonyms during the medieval period, including Ambrose, Augustine, John Cassian, Alquin, Anselm and Bernard of Clairvaux, means that it was only in the 20th century that a greater understanding of his own thought was developed. It is only therefore in recent times that it has been acknowledged that until the spread of the imitation of Christ at the end of the Middle Ages he was one of the most widely read spiritual writers.